scene one, take one. Hey, how you doing, hon? Good, how you doing? Oh, good, good. Have fun, guys. Energy, energy. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Don't you two lovebirds have a home show to go set up? <sighs> it's not, oh, so sorry. I just, oh, God, we were thinking. Neil Barry, the writer-director of Zap. 3,000! I had a lot of fun. I'm Erin Wolfe. I play Eden Sky. Hey, Erin. Hi. Who are you? Mr. Barry, my name is Michael Dunn. I'm Paul Hughes. What are you doing here? I, I ask myself that question all the time. It's one, two, 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 two. <laughs> Your eyes are like the biggest thing I ever seen on the planet, you Yeah, hey. down. <laughs> what inspired you to do this? I had been doing it for years on the road with Paul and a couple other people. I think there was a lot of shame at first, you know, about it, and I'm now immensely proud of the fact that it gave me a life tool. I just wanted to do something that um, made me laugh, and so if it makes me laugh, I thought oh, it can make other people laugh too, so. What was it like working with my brother on the project? It was great. That's it. I mean, it was, that's it. <laughs> what else would you say? It was fun. It was a, a very hot and sweaty four day. <laughs> it was a blast. Honestly, when it was over, I had that like little hangover. Like, oh, I don't, I don't get to see the guys today. It's so sad. All the crew. I had a great time. Are you kidding me? I didn't know any of these people before we came in. One of my favorite things about doing projects is it's such a great way to meet people. We did this. We did this. We did this for a living for years. I remember years and years ago you said something to me. You said, you know, someday I'm going to write a role for you. It's going to be your big break. And we would laugh when we would be in like Spokane or Chicago selling pans. And we were like, yeah, the dream's alive. Look at this. Look, I mean, come on. How can you not buy it? No, I'm not looking for dick. I'm looking for dick, not your dick, dick. Where did you get this little, like, little person go car? A little putt putt for little guy. Yeah. Woo! This is a monkey clown car. Shut up, Drek. It's Shut a up. rental. Oh, it's a, they don't rent these things. These are like little midget huts. <laughs> idiot. 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 <laughs> idiot. He's like, a, he's a little idiot. Hey! Like, yeah, don't idiot. Don't you two homosexuals have a home show to go set up? <laughs> yeah, we do. Then go, get to yeah. it. Homosexual is offensive, queer. <laughs> Thank you, Floyd. <laughs> are those people really out there like that? Yes. Actually, yes. I think there are a lot. I mean, I'm obviously indulging for, you know, for comedy. I love those kind of people. I like, I don't, I don't like people who are always just so pretty and great and their life is going well and they have the best phone and the best car and all that's fucking boring to me. You should have never cheated on her with that 17 year old illegal Mexican. 18 is what she said. And okay, you know what? I don't speak Spanish. I got it screwed up. So you know what 17 is in Spanish? Thank you. Oh, okay, well that's great. Where the fuck were you? Where was the Spanish? Maybe you should have never cheated on her with that 17 year old Arab. I thought she was Spanish for the record. So let's just move on. And by the way, for a little her guy- Her dad wore a towel on his head. You're racist. You're a midget. You're angry. And you're a drug addict, okay? And you don't know passion. And uh, when he told me that I was the lead, I, I didn't know what to say. I, um, it was, I, I knew that I was in for a, a huge challenge. This is actually my first web series, but I've never really been a lead in anything. Used to like going out for like silly roles all the time. And I've never gotten something that I can really sink my teeth into. It's weird to go back in that world because there's elements of Andy that is exactly like me. I've, there were times in my life when I was not gonna ever do anything but sell cookware and be broken hearted over an ex-girlfriend. Both of those were true. To my knowledge, there wasn't really any stalking. Those are real people. The money, the money coming and going, the gambling, it was crazy, you know? We used to make a lot of money. We blew a lot of money too, and it's just, it's a sad world. It's like being a stripper almost, but nothing glamorous about it. Yeah, because it's one thing to be in it and, and doing it. It's another thing to be out of it and going back in the world. You know, that's what was beautiful for me. Now that I'm 
out of it. And I'm like, yeah, I do go and do shows and comedy. That's all true stories. Like, that's real. Like, being with people and like seeming like having a glamorous life, but it just wasn't. And my wonderful Hinduism, Mr. Huda. <laughs> 98 called. They want their jeans back. <laughs> 1998, I get it. Yeah! I love you, Floyd. Mm, I love you. How much of our money did you spend at the bathhouse? The 3300 that you said I was shy. Did the girl at least blow you? There was no yeah. girl involved at bathhouses. I think that's the little secret here that we should talk about. Floyd, were there any girls involved? Got it! <laughs> I've worked in other friends' web series, but this is the first web series that I sort of was you know, a featured player in, or I mean, a, a lead, you know, character in. He's a buffoon, you know, he's a clown, but, you know, it's, you know, I, I, it's so dumb, and I take like a real Delarte approach to things, like it's, it's, it's mask work, it's like, I really feel like that about like clowns, and, and it's really how I approach a lot of the work that I do, like what kind of clown is this, is this person. Is this your first web series? It's not. Sorry to burst your bubble. <laughs> it's my, it's my first main web series. But uh, yeah, honestly, when you when I got the script, and you were like, check out the role of Eden. I think I only got one episode, and she was just interviewing. So I was like, oh, she's just a girl who interviews and like doesn't get a job. It's you know, it's a little bit part. And the day before the table read, you're like, here's the whole script, look it over. And I was like, oh, oh, she's not just in one episode. Surprise. So where's the other guy, huh? Got rid of him? Yeah, did seriously. You? Did you tie him up in your closet? With your hair dye? Freak? Is that what you did? Well, I kind of like her hair dye. Shut up. <laughs> the, the tall guy? Yes. Honey, he could be your dad. <laughs> could he? Could he? Oh, oh yeah. Floyd style, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's ready for you. In there. Floyd. Bye. Bye.